Well, it's the last day of school for students at Calera Elementary, and I hear they have big dreams. Be on the news and be famous. <laughs> oh yeah, that's George. Uh, he is famous. I met his whole first grade class and their very special teacher, Miss Sarah Harris. She's been inspiring kids for 13 years, and today her story is of living her purpose through her own battle with cancer, and it's going to inspire you too. Do you love your brain? Yeah. It's super smart. It helps you a ton. Drawing conclusions through a lens of curiosity. What's your name? George. You're a detective today? Uh-huh. Is it okay if I wear your hat? Yeah. <laughs> With a team of first grade investigators. We're doing a detective day today and figuring out who stole our treats. Who are trying to crack the case. Someone took our cookies. But what's not a mystery is that Miss Sarah Harris. You, 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 you are my everything. Loves her students. I knew I wanted to be a teacher. Glad to be in Miss Harris' class. And really, when I walk in this door, I forget that I have cancer. Like, I really do. But Miss Harris's full story. The story has a beginning, a middle, and an and is not seen through the singing and smiles. I found out in 2019 that I had breast cancer and um, ooh. And I thought that was the end. You know, I thought I was kind of in my brain kind of writing myself off and um, a single mom, three children, and I knew I had to keep working. Despite her incurable metastatic cancer. I'm so proud of you. Working. Quality, not quantity. And so I get up every day and go. Has been the best medicine. I feel like God placed me in this role for a reason, and he continues to do that and trust me with the lives of children. And I look at that as a, um, a gift for me. And I don't want to let um, a circumstance define me. Harris's purpose, born from her own perspective of sitting behind a tiny Calera Elementary School desk. Came here as a little kindergartner. Inspired by, you guessed it, her teacher. So guess what? You were right. And she made me feel like I was so important. And I thought, I want to be just like her. Now Miss Harris is creating a lasting legacy, one child at a time. She makes us do creative things. Learn sub subtraction and plus value. Mental math is really pretty. And she's nice and smart. But I do pray about like who will be placed in my classroom because I know God will put who needs to be here in here. You are my everything. In the details and the smallest clues. Getting clues to figure out who took it and where they put it. Life lessons can be the biggest breakthroughs. Like, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? Like, how do you want me to be used not just to teach them how to read and write and do math, but teach them how to overcome. Her little detectives learning the journey of exploration, not just in solving mysteries, but navigating everyday challenges. I hope that they remember the things that we learned in here. And when they get older and they realize what cancer is, I hope that they saw in me somebody that kept pushing and that they don't let anything in their life that seems difficult get in their way. That they see a challenge and they just hit it straight on and keep going. You are my love, just amazing. Miss Harris says that she hopes that her students grow up kind of like she does and um, ha like she did and, and stay in Calera. She grew up there and they want, she wants her students to really invest in Calera, invest in the community where they, where they live. So a really sweet story and she's, she's just incredible. Well done, peace. Thank you.